Hello everybody. Today we're going to be using the software called Ultimaker. So I'm going to type in UL. And there we go. Ultimaker Cura 4.0. And this is, or 3.04, sorry. Um, this is the software we're going to use to make parts for 3D printing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set up our Ultimaker software for the printer we're using. Okay, so I'm going to go to preferences, which is up here, and I'm going to hit configure Cura. Okay, I'm going to go to the menu that says printers, and I'm going to hit add printer. Okay, and if I go to custom, or excuse me, not custom, other, okay, you're going to see a whole list of printers. Okay, we're using a Persa i3. So I'm going to click that Persa i3. Okay, so I'm going to make sure Persa is selected and I'm going to hit close. And now we're all ready to get our print ready for printing on the 3D printer. Okay, so I can go to File, Open Files, or I can come up here to Open File this little folder. And I'm going to go to my 3D printing folder and I'm going to pull in a file to print. Okay, simple as that. So we just click on our file and um, there it is. There's what we want to print. Okay, um, you can look at it to see the different layers using this view drop down menu. You can see how many layers are going to be. Um, made. Um, this outside part is called a brim and I'll explain how to do that in a moment. Okay. But I personally like to look at it in solid view. Okay. So this is the recommended setup right here for this part. And usually this um, software is good at setting up your prints for printing. Okay. Um, but if you want to change qualities of your prints, you could hit custom. And this is where you develop how refined your print is going to be. So right now I have a fine printing profile. Okay, so that means each layer is going to be about 0.1 millimeter high. Okay, as you can see, there's our quality. Now, if I come here, I could go to extra fine, but that's going to take a long time to print, but it's going to make a better product. Okay. Or you could go to extra coarse and you look, see how, how fast that printed. It was 15 minutes now before it's two hours. I wouldn't print it at extra coarse because it would not come out that very well. Okay. You could also determine how thick the shell of the product is. Okay, so if we go to x-ray view, the shell is this outside dark blue part, okay? And that matters for when we are making or when we determine the infill density right here, okay? Infill density is the how much the print is going to be filled up with 3D printing filament. Right now it's 20%, so 20% of that product is going to be filled up with 3D printing um, material or PLA. It usually prints in triangles and diamonds, okay? And I can make it 100%, and that would be a, just a solid block. Again, that would take a lot of time to print, okay? Um, I'm going to leave it at 20% because this is going to be a, a partially a structural element of the 3D printer. We're making a tensioner, but it doesn't really have to be super, super strong because we're not putting a ton of, of um, force against this thing. Okay. Now, I can click here and I can adjust, I can adjust what material we're going to be using and the temperature we're going to be printing at. I personally like to print at 215 degrees Celsius. Okay. Um, 
I find that works best for my prints for PLA. Um, I'm not going to change anything about the speed, but if I was to be printing a very small part, I may go to a so slower speed so it has more time to go along the very small details of that piece. Okay. Now, cooling. We want to make sure the print has cooling enabled because that will ensure that the layer you just laid down has cooled and has adhered to the other layers and then the next layer could be laid down. Okay, support. This, I'm going to not click this because I don't have any what we call cantilevers. Okay, you have a piece where it's going horizontally and there's no vertical support, that's when you want to hit generate support, okay? But we don't need that in this case. We have two holes, three holes, and you may see a little deformation in there, but I don't think it will matter too much, okay? Um, blade or build plate adhesion, okay? You could have a skirt, you could have a brim, so I'm going to just change it to skirt. And now if we go to layer view, this is what the skirt looks like. Um, you could have a brim, okay? Now if you look down here, you could see it's slicing, meaning it's figuring all the different layers out. A brim is really cool because it, it sits on the outside layer of the the piece okay but it doesn't put any anything underneath so you get a really clean bottom and then it just snaps off okay and with ultimaker you can actually go layer by layer until it goes all the way up you can see the whole process of the print the final one i've done is a raft okay i personally do not like rafts anymore since i've i have the option to use a brim i'm going to use the brim because rafts tend to be really messy um they actually tend to damage the piece if, if you leave it on too long so i'm not going to use a raft i'm going to use a brim for this print okay as you can see it's slicing again okay we're not going to do anything in special modes today now if i click on my piece here I can change the size of our print. I can rotate the print, okay? So I can see the other sides of it. And I can move prints around. This print here is pretty well set up, so I don't have to do much to it. But let's say I have a bunch of long lines to print. I'm going to try putting those all in one long line across the build plate so the machine doesn't have to go zigzag everywhere back and forth back and forth they could just go one straight line all the way across and that would decrease your print time okay um so that's pretty much it for actually setting this piece up as you can see we have our print set up we have it on a brim um we're going to use a fine profile okay infill density is going to be 20 percent our printing temperature is going to be 215 degrees Celsius. We're going to use a build plate temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. And our material up here is going to be a PLA. The other material we'll be using here at Spencerport High School is ABS. Okay. So now I'm going to save this to a removable drive. Okay. I need to make sure it's saving to the right place, okay? So I'm going to go click Save to File. And I'm going to open up my removable disk, okay? For our ANET A8 printers, we need to use a micro SD card, okay? So I'm going to choose that SD card. There it is. Um, I'm going to... Put, make a new folder in here called 3D Printing. 
can't spell this morning. 3D printing. I'm going to type that in and I'm going to hit save. Okay. And now we're ready to go. Now we can bring this over to the 3D printer and get that printer ready for printing. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.